Hello and welcome to another video. In today's video, we're going to be continuing work on the Bolands 1253. Now, you may remember in previous videos, uh, some stuff that we did was we changed the rear tyres to these uh, spare Trelleborg soft grip tyres that we had sitting around because the previous ones blew up and we put those tyres on so that it would match the fronts. And then we also put on our spare attachment lift lever because it didn't have one on it. And our spare PTO because again, that was missing. Now, today we're going to start work on some of the electrics on the tractor. Now we had multiple parts on order, but they didn't turn up and we were chasing the supplier for a while. Good news is we managed to get our money back, but the bad news is obviously uh, we don't have the parts. So we have some parts and we'll be trying to get as far as we can with them today. But before we start, I'm just gonna quickly dust over the tractor. As you can see, it's filthy, which is just from sitting in a barn and a workshop. We've brushed the tractor down now and we've got the hood up and we're ready to start on the electrics. Now, by the looks of it, a previous owner has flipped the battery the other way around, which means that because it doesn't have a tie down, this could quite easily tilt backwards and short out on the dash. It also means that this made this wiring uh, going to solenoid a lot uh, longer because otherwise it would be the positive terminal would be here and it would only have to go to there and then the earth would just uh, come over here uh, someone appears to put an inline fuse in this wire which is good however it appears to have done, been done pretty poorly also with the battery it looks as though they've made put a lip on the battery tray to stop the battery going into the belts which is a good thing and we'll investigate that once we get the battery out. And something else we noticed is that it seems as though uh, some of the wiring, like this blue wire here, has been done with household flex, which is not good. Uh, but the first thing we'll do is get the battery out so we've got a bit more space around here. So now we've taken out the battery and the battery tray. Now you can better see the um, the lips here that's on screwed on on both sides of the battery to stop it um, moving about. And I think this is because obviously it didn't have the tie downs. And I think that's because the tie downs with how the, the solenoid has been relocated up here. And if the tie down was there, it would be at risk of um, touching this part of the solenoid and shorting out which as it is up here it's at risk of possibly shorting out on the throttle cable and the solenoid should be mounted using the two bolt holes there there and there as you can see on the ones just below the screwdriver which would be uh, underneath the battery tray uh, I'm not fully sure why they've moved it and we know it should be down there because we've compared it to um, a similar tractor and that should be down there. So I'm not sure why they've moved it but we're going to put it back down at the bottom where it should be. We've now relocated the solenoid down at the bottom where we believe it should be. Now um, something else we did was we took off the old connector from this wire here, that one there, uh, which I have here, because it was the wrong size. That's the that's the old connector, which that was the wrong size, so you don't need that anymore. But that was very difficult to get it down there, and the thing, the only thing missing from that now is the battery lead. Yeah, the battery lead. Um, because we're going to make up a new one to suit our battery that we're going to put in there. What we're now going to do is replace this wire here, which we have a new uh, inline fuse, 
that we're going to replace this with uh, just because we could cut this off and see what's under this tape but I think it's just easier just to put a new one on. We're ready to put um, the connectors on each end of the wire. Uh, we don't actually have the right connectors that we wanted to put on. We've got these crimps that we're going to put on instead. So first I've got to strip the ends of both ends of the wire so I can get them on. We've had these wire strippers for quite a while now. Dad's had them for longer than uh, since before I was born. So they're pretty end of life but they're still working. There we go. That's one end done. And then once we're ready we'll put these on here. Let me just twist this around a bit. We'll put these uh, crimps on here and then use the crimper tool to make sure they're on there properly. We've got the new fuse in now and we've made it so that it goes back a bit so it's nice and out of the way. Now what we're going to do is put the battery tray back in. Now we took one of the lips off, we've decided that we'll keep the front one. And so it doesn't affect uh, how the battery sits with just one on, we put it uh, underneath because otherwise it would be tilting backwards and we don't really want that because then it would be tilting towards the steering column. But we'll get this installed, but before we took that off we put a new uh, battery cable to the solenoid on so that that is fully ready to be covered up by the battery tray. Right, so we've skipped forward uh, quite a bit now because we're running out of time. But as you can see, we got the battery tray in. New battery, made up the new leads in the fully and they're in there. Then for the tie down, we actually used the bit of angle line that we took off the battery tray that someone has used on the back part. And we re we reused that. And we just got these basic uh, tie downs with some spaces on there because the thread didn't go down far enough. But that leaves the last bit of investigating we wanted to do uh, on the electrical side for this tractor today uh, on the rectifier. Which we don't exactly have the best track record of rectifiers because a couple of years ago um, we managed to burn out the rectifier on the wheel horse D160. But as you can see we've got all of this tape over of the wires going to this one. So we've pulled the tape off the wires and it was just as bad as we thought it would be. Which this uh, yellow and black wire actually came out when we took the tape off. Shows how good that is. Which we did actually order a connector block. But that was one of the parts that didn't actually turn up. So there's not too much we can do about this at the moment, except for what we're going to do, which is just for the moment tape it up a bit better than it was taped up before. But we are now out of time, so that's it for this video. Probably in the next video in this series, we'll have a look at the fuel system, bearing in mind that it's been sitting with old fuel in for a couple of years now. But I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video and see our other videos. More to follow as we do more on this tractor. Bye!